Today we are about to discuss various filters in Substance Painter. Many of them I had been using in my project and they helped me a lot to add some extra detail. It create, it's, it's really help to make some interesting detail in texture. Some of them I don't use it, I had not covered those filters but if you know those filters, their uses, let me know in the comment section below. So let's start. In this video, I'm using bevel filter. So first of all, I create a fill layer and then add a black mask and then paint it some random stroke. So right now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to tweak some height setting. Right now, you can see there is change in some height. So right now, let's add a filter bevel filter. Right now, you can see that there is some kind of like softness and pinchy effect you can see right here. It is being created. You can adjust the setting according to yourself, according to your uh, interest so this is very interesting like it's great just details you can adjust a letter you can invert or the height also so this is a very good filter it will help you a lot also so you can also choose some brushes and grunges brushes any brushes you can see right here I'm choosing the dirt brush so there see that it's really interesting you can do a lot with this filter so play with it you will you will feel some kind of fun playing with this uh, bevel filter it's very interesting so it's a very good one let's move on to another one in this one you can see right here there are some three blur filters so first one is the blur one which is a normal one which you all know you had done uh, you had done this blurriness in many photo editing app so you can see this normal blur and this one is a directional blur so you can see like i can uh, choose in which direction the blur will follow so you can see right here i'm moving the wheel you can see the blur direction is changing so this is a very good one and uh, another one is that the blur slope i don't use this one uh, much but i had seen many people use this in stylized texturing I think maybe this creates some brush stroke so I don't use it uh, much but if you are into the stylized texturing this will help you a lot this one creates some linear type of pattern in surface you must have seen some metallic surface which have this kind of like uh, linear pattern so with this one uh, with this one filter you can create that effect let's move to another one these three filters and color tweaking filters I don't use a lot but you can use it and you must have seen some many people do some uh, editing in saddles and this type of different tones of color you know you can adjust it this is uh, like a Photoshop like that you are tweaking some color values so right here you can see over here I don't use this uh, much but sometimes I use it this one is a color corrector so it's a self explanatory you can add some contrast you can add some luminosity saturation how saturated the color is so this is a very good one so you can adjust the setting according to you sometimes you also get a very interesting like a detail so you can see right over here so it's a good one so another one is this simple this uh, is like a match your color according to the tone of any uh, color you pick like I can see you can see here that I'm picking the color from the color picker so it is adjusting the color according to it it is matching it's very good one so give a try to this it's a very good one let's move to another one this one filter I think deals with adding some contrast in luminosity and I think it's deal with some lighting I don't do a lighting a lot but you can play it out and you can test it out how it's work for you you must have used gradient in photoshop so like that this I have same similarity you can see right here i can adjust a gradient and also i can increase the number of gradient that if i want to use it so you can see right here i'm setting the gradient different color value and you can increase it like here you can here you can see the five color i mean the color plates uh, what they call i don't know uh, but you can use this one see that how interesting it is this so i use it not much time i mean sometimes i use it in my project according to my need so play with it have fun with it let's move to another one 
height adjust filter i used it a lot in my project to adjust the height according to my need it adds some extra detail right now you can see that i added filler and then assigned black mask and then after that i isolated the height adjusted the height tweaks uh, i mean the values and then i painted some strokes random stroke here so right now i will assign this height adjust filter and then you will see the type of effect this filter create let's drag it down here and now you can see that i'm adding some different settings in offset and multiply you can see right here look at this like you can adjust the height according to your need so it's a very good one what one what a try so try this one if you're looking to add some random tint in the color then you can use the hsl perceptive filter so you can see right here you can adjust the setting and saturation levels so you can try this uh, according to your need invert filter is very same like you invert color values in photoshop or any program so you can see right here i'm now going to apply this filter and then you can see the bright turn to dark so according to that you can invert the color values play with it have fun to create some outline in painted mask any mask you paint you can use this filter mask outline filter it's have some options you can tweak the setting width of it blurriness curve shape so you can test it out according to how much you want what setting you want you can see here the double stroke you can see the double stroke effect it had created so let's move to another one this one for it right create some linear type of pattern in surface you must have seen some metallic surface which have this kind of like a uh, linear pattern so with this one uh, with this one filter you can create that effect let's move to another one this one filter i use it a uh, very few times you can see right here some roughness values are very intense and some are not so it's a good uh, one filter very interesting sometimes i use it let's move to another one some surface have grain in it and this small details add lots of interest in your texture it bring out some extra interest so it's a good one filter let's move to another one you must have seen some intersecting lines in some metal surface so that's what this filter i think does so you can see right here and adjust uh, intensity according to your need interesting details I think this filter creates some type of beaten down effect like uh, the surface has been beaten down by hammer. I don't use this again a lot but you can use it if this fit well to your need. Well this one filter it creates some circular pattern you can see right here and you can adjust the bevelness of this I mean some hardness of this I think so. So you can target some like gen texture channels in which you only want this filter to apply there so you can isolate some layers as you can see right here you can scale it up and uh, you can also adjust the whole size so use this filter if you wanna use it i don't use this one a lot but you can see right here this creates some square patterns and you can scale it down so you can use this one and adjust the setting according to your need as you can see right here it's created some raw effect like some metal surface are not very smooth so this one does according to what it sound like you know the raw effect so it has created a raw effect in the metal part here is an amazing filter you can use it right it is a very good one it's great some grunginess and you can see right here the grunge filter right here so it's created a very interesting detail and you can tweak the setting according to your need you can scale it up scale it down scale of grunge brush intensity how dense it is so play with it and set the setting according to yourself you can create some comic book effect uh, some kind of effect in your texture with this filter so this will help you to achieve some comic book effect type of texture so right now you can see that how interesting this one is looking right now you can see that my only texture channels is enabled the base color you can see the base color texture channel right here so with this filter you can achieve the look of comic book effect 
this filter i don't use it a lot i use a metal edgeware generator so this filter creates some edgeware in the corner of the object so you can use it and tweak the setting according to your need most of us have done all painting in our childhood in school time so i think this filter exactly does to make it look like all painting so right now here you do you can see that it doesn't look too much like the old painting so you have to adjust the setting to make it look like old painting i don't use this one again this one filter creates some peeling paint effect so you must have seen some surface have peeling effect some surface also have kind of like bubble is formed when you see some peeling paint there some kind of bubbleness is created some bubbleness type of patterns is created so there will be settings you can adjust those bubble pattern in there but i will attach a link to a new peeling paint filter which is a lot better than this one much better than this one so you can test that out and test this out and compare which one is better so you can use any of them according to your need to create some weathering effect like a rust effect you can use this filter look at this how interesting is this this looking like a real i mean the real weathering effect of rust look at that one the surface this is an interesting one so you can adjust the setting according to your need this water drops filter is help to create some water droplet effect so i don't think that this uh, filter may be used a lot because in games in vfx movie the simulation of water uh, droplet effect is done through some simulation i think so some kind of different tools i think this filter is used to create the watercolor effect i don't think so that my this object really look like the watercolor effect but i think there must be some setting that used to get really looking like a watercolor effect there must be some settings so you can test this out you can add surface intensity in your texture so for example that you had used a procedural grunge and that don't have some pop out details like a, it's a bit blurry you can use this one to add some sharpness in that procedural grunge transform which helps you transform some effect you know like some paint effect you had created some patterns you had created and you can then you can transform those pattern in any position you can scale it up scale it down and you can offset it in x and y value so you can use this filter to transform the patterns in different position warp filter i think this one adds some irregularity in some painted strokes so you can use this one to create some irregularity you can add just the intensity and there's some intensity divider right below there you can see here so it is increase the power so this is a good one you can use it comrade thanks a lot for watching this video now is your task is that try to play with this filter now creativity is your the power is in your artistic mind try to bring something new try to add the knowledge you had gained of this using this filter to create various effect now the creativity is all your hope this will help you to enhance your enhance the texturing details in any object you will choose this will help you a lot so until then we i will meet you in next video